Hey guys, I got a quick tutorial for you guys on how to install mods on The Sims 3. It's pretty easy once you get the hang of it. So just start off by going to mod the mod the Sims out info. Here you'll have to make an account. Pretty easy. Just you'll have to answer a question. Um, I'm not sure if it's a question all the time, but the question I got is what's What's the first Sims 2 expansion pack? In case you guys get the same question, the answer is university, one word, university. Um, so once you need an account, just open up a new tab. You want to go to this link right here. Um, Chi.monitims.info slash get files of PHP. Some numbers and yeah. Go ahead, download the file. Uh, I will have the link in the description for you guys to download. Uh, once you download it, should be here. Uh, you'll have a dot. I think it's, uh, it's a dot rar file. You'll need WinRAR sensor or whatever to extract the file. Once you extract it, you should have a file called TS TS3 install helper. Go ahead, double click that. Click next, and then click to install. I already have it installed, so I'm not gonna install it. Um, go ahead, you can just go ahead and install it into it. Uh, default folder that's probably you want to install it. Um, once you've done that, it's time to get a mod. Uh, so again, you want to go to modsims.info for if you want to get a mod. Make sure you sign in and just go to the download and click Sims 3. Uh, you can scroll down. We got pretty good mods here. Um, this one for sure I'll try it out because I know it works. I'm just going to show you this one. Uh, you can just this is, you really want to read some of this info because some of it's kind of important. For example, this guy has current patches. He's not sure if it works without the patches. Um, I can show you it does work with the patches because I have downloaded it and I do not have any patches. Um, again, sometimes you need a specific program to do some of the Sim 3 mod. Depends what it is. Um, so go ahead and download the race car bed. Or whatever mod you want. I already have it downloaded, so obviously I'm not gonna download it. Uh, you'll have a dot raw file dot zip. I'm not really sure what you'll get. Um, you can make right click and click extract here, and you should have this file. And once you've installed a monkey helper, or um, you will have your Sim 3 package files will have this little monkey icon. Um, also make sure that you have i uh, reboot it after installation because uh, it, you need to reboot for it to do all the finishing touches. Um, once you have rebooted, um, just you can unpause the vid. You can you can pause the video, reboot, and then you can just continue from where you left off. Um, so you can just want to right click any of your package files and click install to Sim 3. If you already have it installed, it will say well, the the file and whatever its name package already exists. You want to overwrite it. Obviously, I already have it installed. I'm gonna click on no. So, so if how if you want to know how to just see the file, just want to go to your program files, electronic arts, the Sims 3, and you'll have this new file called research.cfg. If you do not, then I'm pretty sure you didn't reboot. Um, I will have a different download if you don't. Um, you sh for sure should have the mod folder, a packages folder. And once you've installed your mod, it should be right here. You should see these other folders, um, depending on what mod you have. If it's a hack, obviously you want to install the hack folder. It's like a skin, skin folder, pattern, pattern. I'm not really sure what the patterns are. Um, skins and hacks are self explanatory, miscellaneous. Again, don't really know what that's for. Um, so, I'm not really sure if you have to do this, but I just did anyways, and in case any of you guys know, send me a message, leave me a comment, and I will put it in motion, but if you have any expansion packs, copy the research on CMG, and hold control, and then click the mod, mod folder, both will be highlighted, right click and click copy, then you can go ahead and go to all of your expansion packs, right click, and click paste, I've already done it, so obviously I'm not going to. And then you can load your mod packages, and here are your mods. Uh, whenever you get a new mod, obviously do the same thing. Again, I'm not really sure if you have to do that or not. 
um, leave you guys a message or a comment, and I'll put it in Ocean. Um, so, once you've done that, you can go ahead and start up your game. Obviously, if you're using expansion pack, you have to install it from your expansion pack. Um, you do not have to use the launcher. In fact, I don't think you're supposed to use the launcher for this. Um, if you do open up the launcher, you're under install content, it will not, your mods will not be there. Um, that's the point of Monkey Helper. Technically, it's not really the point of Monkey Helper, but, you know. Um, so, don't worry. Uh, you just want to go to your program files, um, your expansion pack, and, or your normal sims, and it will say TF3 on normal sims, and the expansion will say something after it. Make sure it's the application, not the icon. You just right click, and click send to desktop, and it's basically a shortcut for sims 3, and what it will do is, it will start the game immediately instead of taking you to the launcher, which I prefer. Because I hit the launcher. Um, if you want the icon, because obviously it's this default sim icon, just right click it, go to properties, and go to. Um, it should be in shortcut. I think there'll be a tab, but this is shortcut, obviously. And then you just click change icon, you can navigate to this folder and just click that little ICO file, the icon file, and you're good. So I'm just going to go ahead and boot up the Sim 3 late night. Um, we are six minutes. I'm just gonna hurry up here. I'm gonna pause the video until Sim fully loads up. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys Sims bleeding up. So as you see, I'm turning up to Sim 3 late night. Um, it does take a while to load the whole game, so I'm gonna pause it again. Hey guys, I just want to quickly show you this. Um, here's an example of a program. It's called a Heronator, which is a pretty funny name. Um, so as you can see, you type in the name of the hair, location, the opacity, sort order, and CAS, high to low. Uh, valid for male, female, toddler, child, teen, adult, young adult, toddler. Valid for random, valid for maternity. Um, overlay DDS. And specular DDS. I haven't done any hair hacks, I'm not sure that is, but for people experiencing hair hacks, well will be experienced because you probably don't know how to mod watching this video. Um then you can use this program. Um I'm not really gonna give the link because I don't know if it's a good program or not, so yeah. Okay, I don't know what sound I just made there but Let's see Sims is done loading. And here we go. Okay, so as you can see, here's my sim. You can see something new. Okay, so uh, surprisingly my recorder is actually recording sim without lagging. So yeah, that's pretty good. So now let's see if we have a bed. So we're gonna go to buy mode. And we're gonna go to bedroom. And click this bed icon. And look what we have here: kids race our bed. Um, this does cost four three hundred. I'm sorry. It's a uh, four hundred in the description. Um, I'm not sure if any of you become amazing at mod or maybe not even amazing, just become good at mod and you know how to edit the price. You can probably make these like one. Sim land or sim coin, whatever you want to call it, and that's good for you. I mean, I really wouldn't want to do that because what's the fun? Um, so thanks for watching. Yeah, what, yeah, I wish I could put this here. I mean, that'd be like pretty awesome, but I can't really get out of here. So, but still, it'd be pretty cool. I've already thought that on the house. Okay. Um. Anyway, so thanks for watching. This video did get much longer than I wanted to. I'm just gonna go ahead and end it now. Um, again, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to, if you like my video, and see you guys next time.